Welcome back. The end of the academic year is a time for celebration for those moving on to the next phase of their lives. And for many, it's a great excuse to throw a party. But just how much are those parties costing parents these days? Yeah, Finance Buzz did a little research on this. Now, keep in mind, this is based off a party size of 60 people. They found in Minnesota a graduation party of that size will set you back about $1,100. That comes out to about $18 per party guest. And that's an important number to keep in mind if you're one of those lucky guests to a graduation party this year. It's a good reminder to be respectful, and there are so many ways you can do so. We brought in our local etiquette expert, Dina Steinhaus, for everything that you need to know. Thanks so much for being here today. And, um, I mean, just your reaction to that price. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big price taken. Honestly, you don't think about that as a graduate and, like, how much your parents are spending on a party. You really don't, and I think that one of the main reasons why when you are deciding to throw a graduation party or an open house to talk with your graduate about what their expectations are and also agree as a family what those expectations are. Um, there's going to be some people who are going to have a graduation party with like a set meal and you know cake and a toast and all of that and then there's going to be families who decide to do an open house um, which certainly can be less expensive if you're just offering more like um, snacks or finger foods versus a full meal. So again, it really depends on what's going to work best for your family. Um, one of the other pieces to certainly keep in mind is that number of people invited. <laughs> um, and the other big question is, are we mixing family and friends? Mm -hmm. Certainly depends on your graduate and what the rambunctious level is yeah. <laughs> for the uh, students uh, that uh, they are friends with. Um, but an easy solution to that is say, okay, well, family's gonna be here at two and after six o'clock your friends are invited or after four yeah. o'clock. Um, but it just really depends. And I think making it clear also as a family how those invitations are going to go out. Are sure. you stating that it's a party? Is it an open house? Um, will it be a matter of stopping by or staying for a meal and dessert? Because that also affects how people are planning their day when mm -hmm. there's oftentimes multiple parties to attend, uh, multiple open houses, especially right around the days or the weekends closest to those graduations. I think there's some societal expectations of also doing something unique at your graduation party, like having, you know, fancy donuts or, you know, something extra. For me, it was ice cream. Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> it's expensive. Um, but yeah, adding those extra things, um, also things to consider. Yes, absolutely. You know, if there's something that has always been important to your graduate, um, that, you know, they've always really liked a particular, you know, sport, or if ice cream is mm -hmm. their, you know, go-to dessert or, you know, their snack or treat of choice, then maybe that's something you include. Um, I think that people sometimes get too concerned about that piece of it. I think that when you look at is this an occasion to bring people together who care about the graduate, that's really what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And so making it a fun, inviting, you know, pleasant time for everyone. And making sure that the graduate understands you need to interact with everybody. Yeah. You know, if grandparents and aunts, uncles, family, friends are there as well as your own friends, make sure you are respectful, kind, polite, you interact with everybody um, because they're there to see you. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the best gifts to bring for a recent grad? Because I always struggle picking out gifts yeah. for these sort of things. You know, that is a really excellent question. People ask that all of the time. Um, you know, certainly monetary gifts are often very well received, especially for those who are continuing their um, education. Um, they're going to be starting jobs and perhaps getting their own um, places to live. That starting off as, you know, young people can sometimes be very difficult um, financially. So that's certainly great. Um, but by no means do people necessarily feel should feel that they have to bring a gift. So for example, maybe you're having a large open house and you're inviting a lot of people, you might even indicate on there, you know, gifts are expected, you know, um, the gift of your presence is enough sort of thing. Um, certainly other gifts to consider is if you do know, for example, um, the graduate is going to be continuing their education. Maybe they're going away to school. Ask mom or dad, like, hey, do you think getting them some of their going off to college items might be a good idea? You know, a gift card for a store they might want to buy. 
bedding and towels at or something, yeah, something like practical. that. The mm -hmm. practical aspect is really what you want to look at with graduation gifts. All right, some great information and tips today. Thank you so much You're for being so here. You're so welcome. And we'll have more when we come back on Cato Living.